This is a person, and this is a drone sentry tower. The sentry tower is packed with sensors and an AI operating system that allows it to detect anything moving within a one and a half mile radius. This is one of the latest creations by the military tech startup Anduril. Anduril was founded by Palmer Lucky, the guy who made Oculus, and his company develops everything from attack drones to underwater vehicles. They use cheaper off-the-shelf components to make their inventions, so their cost costs are down. Lucky's vision is to help the US military and the Department of Defense better compete with powerful foreign powers such as China and Russia. And in this video we're going to explore all the technologies Anduril develops and how they are used. The people at Anduril are most known for their sentry tower. This is like a very sophisticated outdoor camera. The sentry tower is built for rugged terrain and conditions. With solar panels to power it, the 30 foot tall tower can just be left alone. On the tower, there are tons of sensors and cameras, so it can pick up any moving thing. That information is then sent to an AI that determines what it is that the tower is picking up. And you might be thinking of ways these towers could be used. Let's say, for instance, you have a 2,000 mile border that you want secured. This is exactly what the US is doing. Just set up these all-seeing towers and you're all set. When someone walking is detected, the tower instantly sends a message to an agent so that they can take a closer look. Proponents for these towers argue that these technological border walls are a more humane and effective way to control the border, but there are problems. These towers are causing migrants to travel in more dangerous and isolated areas. Critics say that the towers don't stop people from crossing the border and they just change where they go. But despite the criticisms, the number of autonomous towers is increasing. There are more than 100 Anduril towers in use on the border. But Anduril has a lot more technologies besides the tower. Introducing attack drones. These interceptor drones are built to fly up and literally ram other drones. These are perfect if there are enemy drone attacks because it's really difficult to take drones out through conventional methods, but with these ramming drones, they can do that. The drones that are being developed go along with a product that Anduril makes called Lattice. Lattice is an operating system like Windows or Mac that is built for the military, allowing them to track all sorts of things like seeing things that the sensors from the sentry towers pick up or the position of the fighter drones. And finally, they have their underwater vehicles. Anduril recently purchased an underwater vehicle company and they've added that to their list of military technologies. The underwater vehicles are autonomous and they can be used for many different things such as long range oceanography graphic sensing, undersea battle space awareness, mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare, seabed mapping, and infrastructure of mine. All of these technologies that Anduril develops could change the defense industry. The most impactful one for right now, however, are the sentry towers and attack drones, but it's clear that Anduril will definitely be growing in the future, especially with the recent global events.